recurrence up here. The recurrence is t of 1 is equal to 4, t of n is equal to 2t of n over 2 plus 4n. And remember the way the tree method works is I'm going to start by asking at level t of n, besides the recursive call, how many operations are performed. So I'm ignoring the recursive call and I'm looking at what is left over. What is left over is 4 of n. So at this level, I'm going to do 4n operations. And by the way, it's helpful to start splitting up your space into the tree you're building and which recursive call is being made. Recursive call. All right, so in order to do the t of n, I have to do 4 of n plus two recursive calls. And now the question is, how many operations do I do at this recursive call and this recursive call? So these recursive calls are the t of n over 2 calls. So I plug n over 2 into this equation, and I get 4 times n over 2, which means that for a recursive call that starts with n over 2, the amount of operations I do is 4n over 2 plus 2 recursive calls. 4n over 2 and 2 recursive calls. Then at t of n, and now what is this? If I plug in n over 2, if that's the call I'm interested in, the next recursive call is n over 2 over 2, which is n over 2 squared. And the amount of work I get at the n over 2 squared call is 4n over 2 squared, 4n over 2 squared, 4n over 2 squared, and 4n over 2 squared. And let's do one more level, so we've done three expansions. The next level is the n over 2 cubed, which the amount of recursive, the amount of work we do outside of the recursive call is going to be 4n over 2 cubed, 4n over 2 cubed. Same with these, cubed, dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to write them all. The next thing we want to do in the tree method is figure out what the sum along each row is. Because the time it takes before the recursive calls at this level is 4n, the time it takes at this level is the sum of these two things. And so you can see here 4n over 2 plus 4n over 2 is itself 4n. So what I tend to do is keep a row sum column, which is summing across each row. This is 4n, well, this is 4n over 2 plus 4n over 2, so that equals 4n. This is 4n over 2 squared plus 4n over 2 squared plus 4n over 2 squared, so that equals, and you'll notice this is 4, there are 4 of them, so I get 4n, and this pattern continues. Every row I get 4n. The final thing I need to do before I can solve this thing is generalize. So on the t of n over 2 to the i row, what do I have? Well, each one of these is going to be 4n 2 to the i. How many leaves will I, how many nodes will I have at this row? Well, I had one node here. This might be helpful to also add a number of nodes column. One node here, two nodes here, two squared nodes here, two cubed nodes here across this level of the tree. So I have 2 to the i nodes at the, after I've done this i times. And so the sum still sums to 4n. OK. So far, so good. So this tells me how to build the tree. And the question is, when do I stop? And it's the same answer as before. I stop when I get to a base case, because at a base case, I don't need to expand anymore. So when is this a base case? This is a base case when 1 is equal to n over 2 to the i, which, as we saw before, means that log base 2 to the n is equal to i. And so now I know how many levels I'm doing. I know what the sum is for each level. And so I need to write this as a sum over this whole thing. And what is this sum? This sum is from i equals 0. This is the i equals 0 level. i equals 1 equals 2. i equals 3. This is the general i level. 2, and now I know when I stop, log base 2 of n of 
what each one of these is. So in this case, it's pretty easy. It's just 4n. This isn't in terms of i. So we can pull the 4n out. And if you don't see this, look at it this way. This thing is 4n plus 4n plus plus 4n a bunch of times log base 2 of n plus 1 times. And what I can do is say, well, that's equal to 4n times 1 plus 1 plus plus 1 log base 2 n plus 1 times. So that's how I made this flip here. Oh, sorry, that might be a little confusing. We need a 1 there. And then as I kind of noted here, this sum is log base 2 of n plus 1. And this is very important because we computer scientists tend to think of these things as for loops. This is looping from i equals 0 up to log base 2 of n, but it's doing it inclusively, not exclusively. So it's a less than or equals in our for loop, if you think about it the way I think about it. So this becomes now, let me just write this down here, 4n times log base 2n plus 1, which gives us 4n log base 2n plus 4n. And that is how to solve that using the tree method.